Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Put your hands together Emmanuel. for Jesus. People of God, this family has an amazing testimony to share with us today because of the God of right here, right now. Yes, Mama, you can continue. Good morning, church. My name is Tuli. Most of us know me as Mama Shekaina. This is my husband, is Baba Shekaina. Uh, I came here last Sunday. I was on prayer line for him. I was standing for him. He was uh, hit by a stroke from nowhere. So he came home on Saturday after going out as usually. When he came back, I saw that he's not okay. I asked him, what's wrong? He said he's not feeling well. He was shivering. He cannot stand for long. I say no, let's go to a doctor and see if uh, what's going on. When we reached one doctor, the doctor said he cannot attend to him because what he's seeing is a case of hospital. We must just rush to hospital. So we rushed to hospital. When we reached hospital, the doctor started shouting me why I was staying, sitting at home with a person like this. Because now the stroke already hit him. His mouth already shifted. He cannot talk. He lost his speech. He cannot stand. They attended to him. And at that moment, I sent a message to church saying, please stand with me in prayers. My husband is in hospital. Uh, after two, three minutes, prophet called. When he called, he said, what is the matter? I explained to him. He said, I must put my right hand on his right, on his left chest. I did as prophet said. He prayed for us. After praying, while prophet was praying, him, he just fell asleep. So when he slept, after some I think a one hour or so, everything was back to normal. Hallelujah. Put your hands together beautifully for Jesus. Please continue, my sister. Prophet asked me what medias I, I have. I was having a morning water, anointing oil, which is my anointing oil is always mixed with anointing salt. We always call it a concussion in my house. So I mix anointing oil and anointing salt together. Because sometimes, you know, us women, our bags are so small. So I just mix everything together. So prophet say I must pour morning water in his mouth. I did. As prophet say, he said I must anoint him and salt him. So I did as prophet said. And then uh, everything was back to normal. Even the, the sister that was with us there, he was so, she was so surprised. She was asking, ah, this person was declared that they uh, have stroke now, now, but everything is going back to normal and he's asleep. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Sorry, my sister, I just want to find out something. So I'm going to ask your husband, if you can just swap with him. We want to quickly ask him a very important question. Papa, we want to ask you, what happened when you were suffering this stroke? So we're going to take you back a little bit to that faithful day when all of this happened. Can you tell us what happened that day? People of God, praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Um, when we got to the hospital, I was shaking. I found out two, do two doctors were deliberating on me, and this one said, it's a partial stroke. The other one said, it's a stroke. One came to me, said, smile on one side. I smiled. He said, hey, it's not moving. It's not moving. He said, left side, I smile. This side is fine, but this side is not moving. And immediately, she left me, and she ran and started making phone calls. And it was prophet that called her at the same time. Then 
The man of God touched, told her to touch me, and she poured drink and leave in my mouth. As she poured the drink and leave in my mouth, and she laid a hand on my chest and hit me three times, I fell asleep straight. Immediately, I fell asleep. The next day, because I was losing my speech, I couldn't speak. If I speak, she's telling me I'm sounding like water. I'm saying, bro, 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 bro. And I said, no, no, I'm talking. She said, she can't see anything. She can't hear anything. When I slept off, the next day I woke up and I found myself being healed. My voice is back. Hallelujah. I can stand up. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. So, Papa, you're saying that now you can move your hands, your speech is back, everything is now working as normal. 100%. Hallelujah. People of God, we're just going to show you a video clip of what happened when the wife came to Shekinah Grace Faith Ministry that faithful day. The enemies has fell. Can I hear you say the enemies has fell? The enemy has fell. But one thing you must always remember, one thing, when anything happened, call upon the God first, not calling upon doctors. Amen. But today, I tell you, your husband is healed. Amen. Your husband is healed. Touch that photo. Touch that photo. Touch that photo with the right hand. Touch the photo of your husband with the right hand. With the right hand. Touch it. And touch her chest. Touch her chest. Hold it there. Father, I thank you. I thank you for restoring thy son. Thank you for forgiving his sins. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, I do it again in this family. That they will testify of your glory once again before their holy congregation. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Now listen. Touch your nose and remove your hand. Touch your nose. Do like this. Again. Again. Shake, shake your hand. Shake your two hands. Shake your leg. Shake your leg. You are free. Your husband is free. His leg will function normal. Amen. His hands will function normal. Amen. He will breathe normal. Amen. He will be alive. Amen. He will be alive. Can you imagine? Within these four years, what you have gone through. But the Lord continued to serve you. They went to the east, they shot you. No way, nothing happened. They went again, they shot second time, nothing happened. They went again, they shot third time, nothing happened. They come again to a shot fourth time. Nothing is going to happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord who has been covering you, we continue to have mercy Amen. upon your family. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, people of God, put your hands together for Jesus. I'm just going to tell you a little bit, people of God, so that you can understand what God of Shekinah has done for this family. He was closing the gate when he was getting home. As he entered the gate, four men, they tried to enter the gate. And then he closed the gate and he left them outside. After that incident, people of God, that is when this severe stroke started hitting him. You know, people of God, it's important for us to follow instructions. It is important for us to follow what our Father and the Lord would have told us to do. And this family has been very faithful in listening to our Father's instruction and in following his direction. And what the Father has said has now come to pass. They are here with us to testify. They are here to share with us the goodness of God. Papa, can you tell us what then happened after that? Can you share with us, Papa, now that, um, you know, our Father and the Lord had given you all these instructions. Your wife um, prayed, was prayed for on Sunday. And then also your wife then prayed again um, during the course of the week. What then happened? You are here with Thank us today. Lord. Amen. The nurses were coming every day. And they are saying, 
what kind of person are you? How can you tell me you have stroke and every day you are getting better? Your blood pressure is stable. Your speech is coming back. You can walk, you can talk, you can do everything. People of God, in five days, I was discharged from the hospital. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. People of God, we've got a second video that is going to show you that on Thursday he was here. The God of right here, right now, the word that our prophet had spoken to the wife on Sunday came to pass. Please can you show us the next video with him being here in church? Your enemy want you to be on the wheelchair. Your enemy want to be on the sick bed. They are going to be on the wheelchair. They are going to be on the sick bed. Not Amen. you. Say not me. Not me. The I. I. That is in me. That is in me. That dwelleth in me. That dwells in me. That lives in me. That lives in me. Is bigger. Is bigger. Than any demon. Than any demon, any village idol, any village idol, any witch, any village witch and village wizard, any village witch and any village wizard. Say right now, I that is in me, right revoke. Now, I that is in me, revoke, revoke every demonic plan and plot against my every life. Every demonic plan against my life. Say my voice. My voice. Back. My voice is back. My voice is back. My health is back. My health is back. My finances are, is, my, are back. My finances are back. Right now, right here. Right now, right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Open your mouth. Ah. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. 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 Help him. 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 In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Help him there. Help him there. Help him there. Leave him there. Leave him there. Leave him there. Pastor Rush, get me oil. Thank you, Father. 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 This is your servant. This is your son. The hour is now. The hour is now. Father, do thy work. Do thy work. As the oil goes into his mouth, let the tongue begin to come back to normal. Let the veins begin to come back to normal. Let every organ in his body, all the veins, whatever the enemy has stolen, Father, I restore them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is in me. That is in him. Wake up right now. 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 Right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You bones. You veins. You organ. You kidney. Whoa. Right now. Right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. The three. You we just fell. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Pastor, take that or you drop it in his mouth in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do that right now, right here. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Touch his feet. Remove his shoe. Remove anything that is in his leg. Remove it right now. Take it out. 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 Put that oil in his leg in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Today, I bury his enemies. Today, I put his enemy in a stretcher. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Hit his leg. Pastor, hit his leg three times. Hit his leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The two legs. Now, go back to his head and anoint him. Drop oil in his head three times. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Drop the oil. Yes. 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 Amen. It is done. Stand up. Stand up. Thank him. Help him. Help him. Help him. Help him. Help him. 
Now, brother. People of God, I hope you're seeing that. Put your hands beautifully for Jesus. People of God, our enemies are real, but more real is our God. More real is the God that we serve. And I hope you've all seen that God of Shekinah can do it for you right here, right now. Say, my God, my God will do it for me right here and right now. So my brother, that happens on Thursday. Can you tell us now, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling super strong. In fact, I want to show the church how active I am now. Please do it for us, men of God. Look at that, people of God. Put your hands together beautifully for Jesus. This is what our God can do for us. Put your hands together for Jesus. And he is happy. You will be next to testify. You will be next to testify. Say the God of right here, the God of right now, has done it for him. He will do it for me. We are so happy for you, my brother. How are you now sleeping? Are you sleeping okay? Is everything okay with you right now? I sleep like a little baby. and I. Amen. We thank God for you. So my brother, what word of advice would you like to give those who are watching you on the different channels and those that are here in the auditorium? My word of advice is two things. One is don't ever think that distance is a barrier. Wherever the prophet is, if he prays for you, God answers. Amen. Secondly, we make declarations here. There's a declaration we make, prophetic declarations that we always make in this place. We think only, the only powerful paper is the prayer points. No. That declaration is a prophetic declaration. You must always say it to yourself every morning. I am not who my parents think I am. I am not who the world think I am. I don't think I am not who anybody thinks I am. I am a child of God. I am strong and I am healthy in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Put your Amen. hands together for Jesus. My brother would like to thank you for your wonderful advice. We're just going to ask for a word of advice from your wife because she stood in the gap for you. Mama, what word of advice would you like to give? People of God, firstly, when you are in this house, just know that you have a family. Anything small, even a headache, please inform the church. They will respond to you. It's, it's very nice to know that you are with people in your problem in faith. They are helping you to pray. Don't stand alone and say, ah, they will not help me. They will help you. And with that help, you get stronger. And people of God, always stay in faith. Follow what prophet tells us, tells you to do. Do it. You see it working. It worked in front of my eyes within 30 minutes. If you saw what I saw that day, you believe that God is here. And he's Hallelujah. God of right now and right here. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus would like to thank God for what he has done in your family and what he will continue to do. May there be more testimony upon testimony. May the God of right here, right now, keep you and your wonderful family. Put your hands together for our testifiers in the name of Jesus Christ.